In this week's episode of Talking About Orcs, we're going over making some minor adjustments for Saga of the Beast. Not so much rebuilding an entire list uh, around some of the good stuff, but just kind of tweaking what you're currently playing to take advantage of some of the new stuff without um, making too many drastic changes. So, and specifically, I'm going to be talking about what I'm planning on doing for Saga of the Beast and talking about three different things that I'm going to try out once we can play again. Don't mind the noise in the background, it's just the cat's playing. Uh, so this is my current list, and it's all Bad Moons, and it is a very potent shooting army um, with massive amounts of anti-vehicle and anti anti-infantry shooting and surprisingly amounts of resilience. So let's just go over, so we've got one battalion over here, we've got a big mech with force field. He normally has a big chopper and a custom mega blaster, but I won't be able to take those anymore. <clears throat> a weird boy, and we got one unit of 22 boys, 22 is because that's the way the points worked out. Two tank buster bombs and a power claw. And then two units of 11 grots. Why 11? Because I had six extra points. And just 11 is a little more, you know, and they will be the ones primarily shielding the lootas. So then we've got another battalion with two shock attack guns. This is a proxy because I don't actually have a second one. But we have the souped up shock and just a regular shock attack gun, both with grot oilers. And then we have three units of 10 grots. 15 Lutas, 2 Mega Track Scrap Jets, the Gorkonaut, and 4 Smasher Guns. And lastly, we have an Air Wing Detachment with 2 DACA Jets and a WAS Bomb Blaster Jet without the Super Shooters, because I just didn't really have the points for it. And that is my 2,000 point list as it sits. So the easiest thing to do was just to, just a couple very minor tweaks, just one minor tweak, which we take out one Luta, replace it with the Spanner, and then we just simply use command points. We use one on uh, uh, the uh, spanner, or two on the spanner, one on corkscrew, and one on shiny govens. So that takes us from thirteen, from fourteen down to well, fourteen minus one for the dreadwa, and so that takes us down to nine command points. Oh, it gives us corkscrew there, rerolls on the bad moons ludas for the number of shots, and um, plus one BS on the gorkonaut. And that's really, you know, I'm, when the, probably the first game I get back to playing, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do those, those little minor changes, and then we're going to um, just play like that and, and just see how, how much more effectiveness we can get for those extra command points. Um, so that's what we're planning on. Like I said, this is at least the first game is going to be like this before I make any major changes to the list. Um, if you ever watch my battle reports, and I hope you have, that you'll see that the boys normally don't do much until like turn four. Uh, they are they literally just sit there, and, and they might guard the characters as so, to prevent them from being shot at so easily, uh, except by snipers. But that's what crowd shields are for. But I don't really don't dump, jump them until I've got everything else well softened up, because they're not very resilient, of course. Not very good in um, early game, where they can just. Oh, there's a lot of shooting left. But by the time these guys get jumped, it's they're they're going to be taking off small um, objective holding units, maybe some fire support units. Not much. So they're pretty good, especially with the shooters. They jump in, they shoot. They got the plus. They got the reroll ones, and uh, yeah, they're pretty effective in that role. So yeah, just knowing when to jump them is not a is the hard part. And of course, I jump the Ludas frequently, late game, to get them repositioned. Um, but mainly I just shoot stuff. I mean, we got the Daka Jets and the Gorkonaut for just massive amounts of anti-infantry shooting. We got the Scrap Jets, the Waz Bomb, and the Smasher Guns, and the Shock Attack Guns for anti-vehicle. And then Ludas can be either one. And the Grots, of course, are just, they're Grots. They sit there and they shield things. <laughs> But yeah, so that is the current ending. That's the basic changes to the list, just in, in incorporating the the custom jobs in, and the stratagems into what I already have. And I think that's going to work out pretty well because having these guys fight twice, I can't wait to give that a try. They don't charge. I'll, I'll make it'll make me want to charge them more often. That's for sure. Especially you know, you can even fight the same unit twice. You charge in, you do your mortal wounds, you fight, you cork through, you fight again. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I can't wait to I can't wait to give those guys a try. So that's the the basics 
the very simple changes. So let's see if we can do a little more dramatic, dramatic changes to the list and see what we come up with. Okay, so here we have the first iteration and it doesn't look a whole lot different and it's not. So basically what I've done is just kind of rearrange the units and what I've done is I've added a grot mob detachment. So what we've gone to is now a, a battalion. So we've got the Big Mac with force field and Weird Boy. And we've gone down to 14 boys and then two units of 10 grots. And now what we've done is we've moved the flyers into the battalions instead of having their own detachment. So we got two of the planes in that first battalion. And the second battalion is the big mech with SAG, a second force field mech. And we got the third plane, three units of 10 grots, the Ludas, the Gorkonaut, and the wet and the other plane. And those are the and that is the Dread Mob. And lastly, we have one more spirit detachment, which consists of the second Weird Boy and uh, six smash guns three units of two smash guns and those are grot mob now we're going to use a weird boy in that because the jump power is isn't clan specific unlike a force field so that's why we want the weird boy in there because that way he can still jump anything he wants to but we have two weird boys so we can have jump twice if we want to and again we're only running 14 boys so the jump isn't as important so i might start thinking about other powers as well what kind of options there are for me, including the bad news power, which would give I could use on the Gorkonaut to give him a two up armor save, which doesn't sound too bad, actually. And then, of course, we're going to still take corkscrew shiny bits or sparkly bits and um, a clever spanner on the uh, Ludas. And we have the same as the exact same number of command points. We don't change anything there because. Um, we just replaced the air wing detachment with a spearhead detachment. So we still have nine command points after all this. And so what we've got here is we've got fewer boys and some more firepower <laughs> specifically. So now instead of four smashy guns, we've got six smashy guns that reroll one to hit and have a built-in six up in bull save for basically no um, detriment anywhere else other than losing a few boys. And really, and then we add a second weird boy on top of it. So this is a very much improved version, taking advantage of that grot mob and the cheeky zoggers. And I think it's going to be even more effective than previously, than the previous version. Um, but the same command number of command points, just simply more shots and better shots for basically giving up nothing. So that's a pretty good, pretty good change if you ask me. Where I gave up, what, eight boys, gained a second weird boy. Oh, I did lose the shock attack gun, so I went down from two to one, but it gives me a second force field, which helps in deployment. And uh, yeah, the smash guns are better, because not only are, now are there more of them, but they get to reroll ones to hit. So yeah, that was a pretty simple change to make the list I think is going to be way more effective. And especially being able to have three different units of smash guns, that means they're going to be able to deploy in more than one spot because I have one unit of four before um, you have to put them all together even though they do have a big separation distance now I can put two in three different spots and I don't have to worry about the force field as much because at least they have a built-in involve save of their own so yeah I think this is going to be great with two force fields again it gives me more deployment or two force field mechs in the course of force field from the from the last bomb gives me a lot more deployment options I think this is going to be a significantly better list uh, for that for those reasons. One, better shooting and more deployment options um, for basically giving up nothing. And that is the kind of things you want to see out of a, of a out of a uh, expansion where you can change things up, make things better, and not have to give anything up. But the third iteration I want to talk about is quite a bit different. Well, not quite a bit different, but. I'm going to incorporate something that will change things up a bit. Okay, and here is the third list I want to try out. Maybe I, this one is kind of has me on, on the bench on the on the. Uh, I haven't decided if it's going to be worth taking. But basically, what I've changed here is now there are no orc boys at all. So the first battalion is the KFF Mac Weird Boy. Two units of 10 grots and one unit of 15 grots, and then two flyers. 
Second battalion is pretty much unchanged. So we got KFF mech, uh, SAG mech, two three units of ten grots, Ludas, Gorkonaut, and the other plane. And lastly, for the Spirit Detachment, we've done is we've replaced the Weird Boy with the new Smash Captain Biker Boss. And so we're going to give him the attack squig, of course, for free. But he's going to have the Killer Claw, Squig Hide Tires, and the Biggest Boss. The problem with this list, of course, is that it is... I use up all my command points before the game starts. I'm literally using eight command points before the game starts. One for the Dreadwa, one for Corkscrew, one for Sparkly Bits, one for the Killer Claw, one for the Squig Hide Tires, and one for the Biggest Boss. I could probably ditch the squeak high tires, to be honest, um, just to save a command point. But that only leaves me with six. <laughs> that's that's the reason why it sounds really good, and I'm not exactly sure how effective the the, the smash boss is going to be. Um, so yeah, that's the third iteration of this list. And again, the mech guns are going to be uh, grot mob. So you notice the war boss on the bike is in the Grot Mob detachment, and the reason for that is, of course, he's not going to really benefit from bad moons uh, at all. So there's no reason to have him in that, and it's a good HQ for that spirit detachment. Yes, he he's technically a Grot Mob war boss, which means you can't use. Oh wait, there's no boys to advance and charge anyway, so it doesn't matter. So it really doesn't matter. So I think this uh, this this a uh, spirit detachment with the smash boss and the six mech guns is might be pretty popular detachment overall again there's no reason to have him as a bad move. Now, if i was playing something else like uh um evil sons then yeah you might want to have him evil sons and put something else in the grot mob but for this particular iteration playing bad moons there's no reason to have the war boss um as bad moons and so yeah, I mean, there's one option where I could just pick an infantry war boss instead, and uh, that of course I would save me on the squeak high tires. But in that way, I just could jump him instead of just running him across the board. I think that would be effective and give me more points for more things. But I think this is the one I'm not going to actually play. Uh, I'm going to have to redo my entire list around, pretty much rebuild the entire list around the war the uh, smash boss. And the reason for that is he's just so command point intensive that I'm going to have to build a battalion or a third, not a battalion, but a, uh, what's the other one? Brigade, build a brigade or a third battalion. And that's going to take a lot of work to get to that. But I think he's going to be reserved for an entirely new army instead of trying to integrate it into my existing bad moons. Because I have had biker bosses in this list before, but I ended up cutting them because uh, it just wasn't that effective. Uh, but the big killer boss might change that. Uh, and I have to go back over the previous lists and see if there's any way I can uh, just redo it that way. But I wasn't too happy with the, with the biker boss in the previous iterations. So yeah, that's just some ideas on how to change up for Saga of the Beast without having, again, without having to rebuild an entire list. I think building a Boom Boys list will be a lot of fun, but you're going to have to be completely focused on just Boom Boys and maximizing that plan ability. And I think that could be a super effective shooting list too. So yeah, let me know what you think about these kind of changes and what kind of changes you expect to see in your list coming up if we ever get to play again. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new Talking About Orcs videos every Wednesday, new battle reports every Friday, and hobby videos whenever I can. Thanks for watching.